the people love it on me. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to another video if you are new hi my name is Shani Stevens I do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on my channel and I'm also a makeup artist so in today's video I'm going to be reviewing this makeup by Mario foundation do y'all see my face come on come on I don't even want to say too much in this intro so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video and get into this face because I'm excited. It looks alright, y'all. So I feel like I haven't reviewed a foundation in a very long time. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been a year since I've reviewed a foundation or since I've switched up the current foundation that I have been using. So I picked up the makeup by Mario Foundation. This is the Surreal Surreal Skin Foundation, and I picked it up in the shade. 25W which means warm. I'm not necessarily a warm undertone. I think I'm right in the middle. Not too warm, not too neutral, but this was the deepest shade I think that was in the store so I just picked it up. Um, actually no, I think there was one more shade after um, this one and it retails for $42. If I'm looking over here it's because I'm looking at my laptop and trying to pull up all of the you know specs on the foundation so this is a liquid foundation it claims to have a natural finish long wearing medium coverage and it's hydrating so i think from just looking at the specs on this foundation i think this will work for people that have dry skin but if you do have oily combination skin i would just prep my face in a way that this foundation won't get too oily for me personally i do like a dewy finish but i do go in and make sure my base or make sure when i prep my face i don't overkill it when it comes to moisturizer or anything like that and i'm pretty much going to be doing my normal makeup routine i'm not going to change anything different but this foundation um and when i do foundation reviews or if you're familiar with my foundation reviews i like to just do my regular makeup routine just to see how this product or just to see how a new product incorporates into my regular everyday um foundation routine if it doesn't mesh well with the products that I'm already using, I don't really like it too much because I shouldn't have to change around my whole routine just to incorporate a brand new item. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this foundation on. This is how it looks. Like I said, I got the color 25W and I'm excited to try this on for you guys. I have already worn it. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I went over all of the specs. I told you guys it's $42. Like I told y'all, I got the shade 25W. But when I went in store, I feel like I only seen like eight foundations. So online, I see one, two, three, four. There's 30 shades in this whole line. I really like the bottle. I like how it just pumps out. I like, it's simple. Um, and if I was putting this in my kit, it's simple sleek to the point so let's go ahead and put this foundation on well before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and prep my face with the um, good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer and i'm probably gonna set this primer um actually no i'm just gonna put it on how i did a couple days ago because when i'm doing my makeup on the daily i'm literally just throwing stuff on my face and that's what i did and that's what I did with this foundation, so I'm just going to do it that same way. This is the Morphe MB1 brush, and I like how tapered it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. Now, <clears throat> on first application, when I put this on in the store, it looked really, really good skin-wise, um, and how it just lays on the skin. But I do feel like I need a bit of a deeper shade. And I took a full pump. And that's probably all I'm going to use. But I'm not mad at this foundation at all. Um, I really like the way it smells for some odd reason. It kind of reminds me of... You know how MAC Cosmetic has their foundation and they just have that signature scent in their products? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It just has a smell to it that I really, really like. So this is why I say I felt like I need a deeper shade. 
because it just looks a little bit lighter than my skin tone and another thing because i know somebody might think about this like why are you not blending it down on your neck i have never been one to do that and obviously my neck is deeper or different colors than my face but i just yeah no I'm, i just i'm just not doing it <laughs> long story short i'm just not doing it but i do blend it down like some ways like this but that's pretty much all i usually do and then i do put it on my ears just to make sure everything looks you know one and here's a close-up if you guys wanted to see it a little bit closer but like it looks good and i do agree with it being a medium coverage so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer that i use to color correct and this is 53 from makeup forever and i'll just take it here up under my eyes and color correct this foundation looks so good and i'm not even gassing it at all i'm not y'all know i'm not one to gas a product at all like it looks like skin it's really reminding me of my makeup forever foundation but a little thicker in texture i still feel like my skin is breathing it's not a bad looking foundation at all like at all and i did wear this like all day so i do think this can be a long wearing foundation depending on how you prep and prime your face if you're oily make sure you go in well make sure you moisturize if you're oily still moisturize but you also want to go in with a primer that is going to help control your oils or just a mattifying primer me personally i don't like mattifying primers i like my skin to still look skin like which is why I feel like when um, I have makeup on, people always compliment me on my skin, not necessarily my makeup. People are always like, You're, you look so good. Like when I was wearing this foundation, um, I was around people and they were like, you look good. Like you look really, really, really good. And I was like, it's the makeup, it's the makeup. They were like, no, it's your skin. And I'm just like, thanks. <laughs> But I'm saying all that to say that's one reason why I just like everything to look skin like. I want it to mimic perfected skin. I don't want to look too matte. Um, and I also don't want to look too shiny, which is why I'm telling you guys if you're like super oily and you try this foundation out, um, prep your face and prime your face according to how you want it to look when you're done so yeah i hope that makes sense this is how the concealer is looking on top of the foundation and now i'm gonna go in and highlight my under eyes with the la girl pro concealer in chestnut so i'm taking the concealer on my hand i like to just press it into my sponge and then take it right up under my eye This foundation just looks so good like um and I, I really hope y'all don't think i'm trying to be biased or anything like that no it's none of that i just really like how it looks on my skin and i'm yeah if you like your face to look like skin after you're done with your makeup you're gonna like this foundation if you don't like an oily foundation you're not gonna like this foundation if you don't if you don't like shine when it comes to your face, you're you're not gonna like it. And that's because you just don't like your finish to be shiny. <laughs> and that's the same thing with me. If I review a foundation that's matte, I'm probably not going to like the foundation because I just don't like my face to look overly dry. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I really like this foundation. It looks really, really good. Like I said, um, I got a bunch of compliments when I wore this out from men and women. So the people love it on me. <laughs> this is the review. I don't have anything else to say. And I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I'm not guessing it. I'm not guessing it at all. Like I, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm on PR or anything like that. Like I just picked this foundation up because I seen some videos pop up on my, um, 
you know when you open up YouTube, you see like recommended videos and stuff like that. I could just tell from the thumbnail. I could just tell from the thumbnail that I was going to like this foundation. I was just like, I literally got up <laughs> and went to Sephora and bought the foundation because I could just tell. And I, did, I didn't know anything about this foundation. I barely know anything about makeup by Mario. I'm not really familiar with his career and what he does well i know he does makeup but i'm not really familiar with him you know what i'm saying so yeah i didn't this was just an impulse buy at the end of the day so yeah i went up to sephora i seen what they had up there i also met a subscriber one of you guys and she was so nice first of all i went in there like with my mask on <laughs> and i had like a big um my gray long line um jacket i'm gonna put a little bit more concealer on um but yeah i went up there and she we were already talking and i was asking her you know where is this that and the third and then she just let me browse and then she came back over to me and she's like what's your name <laughs> and i was like shani she was like i have watched your videos for years like literally years probably i think she said like three or four years that she has been um a subscriber and i was just like oh my gosh thank you like yeah and she's like you're from like you live here and i was just like yeah <laughs> she's like i would have never guessed it anytime that i meet people or anytime that i meet y'all out majority of you guys always think i'm from la or new york i get new york a lot and i'm just i don't know why and for one i'm so happy that i'm starting to like run into you guys again because for a moment there, because of the pandemic and everything, I wasn't really running into you guys. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and blush, of course. I'm gonna do my bronzer first. I'm using this Morphe M437 brush. And I'm just gonna stipple it in. Now I'm going in with this Rosie Does It blush from MAC. The fact that I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. It is 9.30 at night. Maybe I should go somewhere. If I was in Raleigh, Charlotte, or Atlanta, I'd be outside. <laughs> I would be outside because why am I putting my makeup on and doing my makeup this good and not going anywhere? My face looks amazing it looks amazing like <gasps> this looks so good i feel like i need to like blend out this part of my face a little bit more but it be blended but it's just like looking super harsh to me and i'm just like i want to highlight this area but i also don't want it to look like i don't know It's just like I can't blend everything away because then okay whatever now I'm just gonna go in and use a big old powder brush put the kit powder why do I I'm always wasting so much powder anyways I'm pressing the powder into this brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my blush like that and any other shiny areas that I see on my face mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in and bronze with thick mint from Fenty and this is a BH cosmetic brush that I reviewed years ago it's kind of like I want this to be a little bit deeper but I still like it though if I come across a bronzer this deep, I'm gonna scream it. I'm gonna scream it to all y'all. I'm gonna always be wearing it. This one is, you know, it's still good, but I would definitely want to come across or want to try a bronzer that's deeper than this. And this is pretty much the face. Like, y'all. Yeah, this foundation looks 
too good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I probably should cut this out of the video, but here we are. This is an LA Girl eyeliner. And I use it as a lip liner because it's the perfect brown shade for me. And I'm feeling like I want to do gloss today. So I'm going to go in with Super Natural from Revlon. Yes, it's broken. <laughs> Where's my other one? Because I bought a new one. And I don't know where I put it. So yeah, that's the one I have right now. Now I'm taking Glazed from Fenty. Cute. Y'all, I dropped this. <laughs> I dropped this lipstick into uh, my washing powder. <laughs> and I haven't been able to get all of the washing powder stuff off of the lipstick. So I just be putting the lipstick on in hopes that the washing powder stuff doesn't get on my lips. Are you kidding me? yeah <laughs> it looks so good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe my hands off for sure and um take my hair down and then i'll be right back this is crazy this is this is crazy my face looks so good i'm not trying to guess it i'm not i'm not trying to guess it i don't want to tell you guys to run and go get this foundation but when you are in the market for a new foundation and you run out of your current foundation, definitely give this one a try if you like a skin-like foundation. Because the way I look right now, I'm kind of upset that I'm not going anywhere. So I really don't have too much more to say about this foundation. I really, really like it. It meshes with all of my products fine. I don't feel like I have a mask on or anything like that. Um, it is a little bit thicker than the last foundation that I was using and if you do have oily skin or dry skin If you have dry skin, just make sure you are using moisturizer and prep your skin Accordingly and if you have oily skin or extremely oily skin, make sure you prep your face Moisturize first definitely moisturize um, Sunscreen and all that good stuff, but you also need to prep your face with a mattifying primer or like an oil controlling primer and then go in afterwards and set the foundation down and that will help you out a lot when it comes to the shine because my face is coming off matte. There are some shiny areas because I did put blush on but in majority of my face right now my face is um, matte. It's coming off as matte but like it just looks so good. Like you have to put this foundation on and see it in person. When I tell y'all everybody was complimenting just my appearance just how i looked um yeah everybody was just like you look so good and one of my guy friends he was like okay i see you with the makeup on and i was just like thanks <laughs> and he never really compliment well no he does compliment my makeup but it was different you know he was giving me a different vibe i'm playing <laughs> no but seriously he was just like oh yeah your makeup looks really nice today and i was just like oh thank you all right, y'all, that is going to be it <laughs> for today's video. Um, like I said, it's a go for me, Makeup by Mario. If you ever come across this video, this foundation is really, really good. I like it. Congratulations on everything that you're doing. And, you know, if you ever want to invite me to a, a brand event, a party, or anything like that, I would be up for the flights, okay? this foundation looks so good um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i really am excited um to just be back just be back i know this is like my second time saying that in a video um because of my updated foundation routine or updated makeup routine i filmed that yesterday so yeah i'm just still excited to be filming videos and to be back and to be more present this year on youtube so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and I will see y'all in my next one. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put my face on the screen 
and I'll also um, put like a video on the screen as well if you haven't already seen it check it out it might be a playlist of videos or it might be a video and I will see y'all in my next upload <laughs>